Hey friends, thank you for hanging with me here just for a moment. I was told I have about two minutes. I might take three, but uh, I just want to share with you what I think is probably the most important message that we can give focus to at the end of 2020. And even as we look to uh, 2021, Paul is writing to the church there at Philippi and he is saying in chapter two, do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked, depraved generation in which you shine like stars in the universe. Paul is saying when we give our lives fully to God, it has an impact not only locally, but literally around the world. As you hold out the word of life and he's saying it is God's word that makes a difference. And that's who we are as a church. We're going to continue to share uh, God's word because it is God's word that points to points to Jesus and eternal life. As you hold out the word of life in order that you may boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor for nothing, that I did not run or labor for nothing. And friends, we're going to live this life in such a manner that someday when we stand before God, he looks at us and he says, well done, good, good, good and faithful servant. But he says, but even if I'm being poured out like a drink offering, On the sacrifice and service coming uh, from your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. Paul's saying, if I have nothing left in reserve at the end of this life for the faith of others, for the faith of others, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. 2021 is going to give us that opportunity. We're going to finish 2020 strong so that we are positioned for 2021 to be the greatest year in the history of this church. You know, some things have been a little difficult at times. But that doesn't mean that God's done. Just because it's been tough, that doesn't mean that God said no. Just because maybe there have been some moments when it was hard, God has not finished. In many respects, he's just simply uh, beginning. These are great days to be followers of Jesus and to share hope with the world. Hey, make a note of this in your calendar. Uh, January the 10th, we're going to vote on our 2021 budget. And this Sunday, January 3rd, after the 1030 worship time, Uh, Here at the I-70 campus, we are going to have a short budget discussion for those of you who might be interested in that. And then we'll vote uh, for the budget on the 10th. We've worked very hard for the last number of months on our budget so that it fully reflects uh, the best stewardship imaginable and that we are giving laser focus to knowing Christ and making Christ known. We've made some adjustments and lowered some of our personnel expenses. Uh, We've uh, lowered some of our overhead expenses uh, to maintaining a building because here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to take the gospel, which through far too long of a period of time has been centered maybe at a location on a Sunday. And we're trying to take the the gospel more so than ever before, even positioning staff to do so. Take the gospel from a centralized worship setting into living rooms. We want to do that Ephesians 4 kind of work, equipping people to do the work of the ministry. And so our budget's going to reflect that. But that's also, as you know, that's been our strategy around here for the last 15 years to help people know Christ so they in turn can make Christ known. Hey, this Sunday, we're beginning a brand new message series. It's called Church, You Are the Hope of the World. I do not want you to miss this. It's going to be a tremendous amount of fun as we look at Scripture, God's Word, to see how He desires to use you to be the most effective you've ever been for His glory and the salvation of many. Hey, as we also finish 2020 strong, uh, please know this. Uh, our church office is open this Thursday. I've already had a number of uh, you respond to me and say, hey, how can we give a last minute uh, tithe or offering? You can drop it by the church off- office this Thursday. Uh, so keep Keep that in mind, or it needs to be postmarked uh, sometime in 2020. But hey, you pray. Let's finish this year as strong as we possibly can so that we are positioned uh, more effectively than ever before to take the gospel to the world. Hey, do you want to hear that song? Do you want to hear that song? I, I know one song, just just one, just one, just one, and it's called Rye Boogie. And uh, I hope you can hear this because I am rattling through this, man. Look at this go. Woo! Check this out. There it is. I love you much. Love you, love you. Look forward to seeing you this Sunday.